Indicators provide you with insight about your work and your city. Custom indicators can be pre-published web scenes and operations dashboards that add data synthesis, charts, and analysis results to your projects. This means that any GIS data you can display on a map or in a scene can be used as a custom indicator. In this tutorial, we'll create a custom indicator by referencing a web scene to see which areas in Boston are projected to be at risk of flooding. To begin, click the Add button icon at the upper right of the header in the overview. A drop-down list expands. Select Indicator. In the Add Indicator dialog box, provide a name and description of your custom indicator. For name, type Boston Flood Hazard and add a description of your choice. Under Options, check Featured so your indicator is at the top of the indicators list. Click the Sources tab. Here we'll select the Web Scene and Operations dashboard to define the indicator. Select the pencil icon to browse to the item. Click the drop down arrow next to My Content and set it to ArcGIS Online. In the search box, type in Boston Flood Hazard and press Enter. Select the Boston Flood Hazard web scene and click OK. Repeat this process to select the Operations Dashboard item. The Select Item functionality automatically filters for Operations Dashboards. Select the Boston Flood Hazard item and click OK. Now we've configured the indicator settings, click OK. Your custom indicator appears in the side panel. Any layers included in the web scene can be seen in the legend and any charts included with the Operations Dashboard can be seen on the Charts tab. The legend shows us areas projected to be at risk of flooding and the charts summarise the total number of buildings that would be affected in those areas due to a flood event. In this tutorial, we learnt how to add a custom indicator to your project. In the next tutorial, we'll use ArcGIS Urban to create a corridor plan for the city of Boston.